Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today we're revisiting and updating an old tutorial from 2010 that's been really popular on YouTube. It's how to convert JPEG raster files to vector using Adobe Illustrator's built-in Live Trace tool. Introduced in CS2, the Live Trace tool is an excellent way to convert your illustrations or even JPEG logos into a scalable vector file in Illustrator. Let's dive straight in and show you why it's such a great tool. Okay, so to get us started, I've created a new document in Adobe Illustrator 5.5 and I've placed in two different raster graphics. I've got this uh, PNG Imperial Star Wars logo and a hand-drawn um, illustration that's been scanned in, run through Photoshop and we've placed it into the document as well. You can obviously add files to your Illustrator file by going to File and Place or you can simply open them in Illustrator or just drag them straight in from the internet. Now using Live Trace to create uh, vector versions of raster files can be really helpful. For example, if perhaps maybe a client's given you a logo of a supplier or their own logo, and you're looking to use some upscaling in a design. So sometimes creating your own vector version of something can be really helpful in the uh, design processes. So <clears throat> let's make a start then with our Star Wars Imperial logo. Now you'll notice that you can access the live trace settings from two locations. It's available here in the top panel. And you can also go to object and live trace, which is down here at the bottom. I usually use the uh, quick access mode just over here. And you want to simply select your graphic so that it's highlighted. And then what you can do in the first instance, if you've done a pretty good job already in Photoshop, of adjusting the image so it's got a good sort of black and white definition is just to push live trace and see what happens with the default settings. Now because the uh, PNG Star Wars logo that I've brought through is already of a fairly high quality you'll see that the default live trace has done a really good job of my graphic. However if you want to adjust the settings you can go to the live trace tracing options which are just down here and if we slide this panel over, you'll see that there are sort of 14 different uh, presets that you can use that are designed to achieve uh, different effects. Once you've got your tracing options open, you always want to push the preview button, and this will allow you to preview your trace in real time. One of the things that I usually do is usually when I'm using Live Trace, I'm um, usually selecting just one sort of key area, perhaps of a logo or um, an image and you know sometimes you don't want to take across the white so if you push the ignore white button it's only going to do the darker area. Now in most cases if you're doing an illustration a live trace of illustration or a logo you probably just want to stick with the black and white uh, mode and this will just literally give you a sort of two color or a single black color trace of your image. <clears throat> now the threshold is really useful essentially this sets a threshold and any pixels that are lighter than this threshold will be converted to white, or in our case, disappear. And any uh, that are darker will be converted to black. So you can slide this sort of up and down just to make sure you've got the threshold just right. And this will look a lot clearer when we come to the illustration in a moment. I won't go into too much detail with all the other settings, have a bit of a play around. But again, the sort of blur will blur your image before it does the live trace. And you can really achieve some quite nice effects. But for the purpose, of our Star Wars logo, if we push trace, and then you simply want to push the expand key, which is just over here, and that will convert your shape into a vector graphic. And from here, you can obviously start to adjust the colors, take it through back through to Photoshop. Okay, and then let's move on now to our camper van illustration. So we'll do the same sort of thing, if we just push the live trace button off the bat, you'll see we don't quite get a very good um, conversion live trace first time. So let's just undo that. And let's perhaps bring up our options panel again. So like I mentioned, we're simply going to the live trace option just here. And we're going down to the tracing options. Okay. So same thing again, let's just push this little sort of ignore the white setting and we're going to turn the preview on. And this time we're going to adjust the settings to make sure that we get the most definition on our illustration. 
So again, uh, try playing with the presets. You'll see that there's sort of different uh, effects in here that you can try for your van. But I usually just use the default settings and then adjust the settings to achieve the look. So if I adjust the threshold, if I turn the threshold up, you'll see that I'll get quite a lot of nice definition on the VW camper van. Again, we'll ignore the white and push trace. Don't forget to hit the expand button and that's our illustration completed. We can take through back into Photoshop. Thank you for watching this week's video tutorial. If you have any questions or contributions, please leave them in the comments below.